All right, what's up, guys? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video, and this is the beginning of a brand new series called Pick a Brick Tips, where I pretty much just give you a couple of tips and tricks to fill up your pick a brick cup to the best of your ability. This is great for both buyers and sellers. I will be giving all sorts of tips, and for this first video, I wanted to just take a look at some of the best pieces with their highest reselling value. Now here I have an empty cup, and this can be purchased for about $15.99 USD in the United States, obviously. And there's also a small cup here, which I have. It's currently being filled. This costs you $8.99, and in this little container I have the fantastic piece. These are the chair pieces that I found at my local Lego store. And these have sold extremely well in my store. That's why I have them stocked quite a bit. Now, some other pieces that I have in large quantities are these 4x4 four four tiles. These are the corner tiles in the, um, I believe this is the coral color. These are pretty cool pieces as well. And let's see what else we have. We have these 2x2 two two corner tiles as well. These are the dark turquoise color. And honestly, the pick a brick wall has been a huge uh, win, a huge place where I have been purchasing a lot of the parts when I started the store, so I definitely recommend it to you all. And then these are the flame pieces, which I have an abundance of. So all these pieces are currently available on my store. You can check them out. Support the channel by purchasing a couple. And these are the pieces that I currently have the most of. I actually had a whole cup full of the one by one quarter tiles in coral, but those were recently just purchased by someone in Florida. And I have a couple more of the pieces that I've received from the pick-a-brick wall. I'll just pull them out. So here we have First of all, the little trolley wheels, and then the star pieces. These star pieces and the trolley wheels have been with me since I very, since the very beginning, honestly, when I started my store, and they have been selling. Not huge, but they certainly have. Over here, I have the wedge plates in the dark green color. If you're not sure what those are. This is what they look like. And then I have the nice little pink flowers. These have been selling very well. When I first got them, this entire drawer was full, and now there are just a couple left. So here I have two more sorts of petals. I have the blue, the nice uh, light, bright light blue, and the lime green. These are the five-sided petals, and these have also sold extremely well. The great thing about these pieces are that they are fantastic in both mocks and just selling, so you can never go wrong getting quite a few of them. Now here we have these little buckets. And here we have the little uh, one by one with the ring. Now these pieces haven't sold the best, but they are very useful for mocks. So if you're interested in that, they are pretty cool. Now here we have two by four plates in medium azure. And then one by one bricks in medium blue. Next up we have the one by one brick with uh, studs on both sides in red. And then the car door on the left. And then of course, the car door on the right.
Over here we have the uh, teeth or snow pieces in white. I have quite a few of these pieces and they've actually sold pretty well. And they also work great as little snow details, so those are a nice addition to your mocks in the winter time. Here we have some cool sand green pieces. We have the 1x4 plate and the 1x1 clip. Uh, let me just get a hold of one of those. Here we have the little mudguard and the steering wheel. Here we have the little fence and the doors. And finally we have the windscreens. So I have had these parts for quite a while and the parts that I have seen, like the entire just inventory cleared out is the one by two sand green tiles and the one by one brick, the gold one with the little scroll detailing. So in general, the most popular pieces that you can get from the pick a brick wall will be those in unique elements. So pretty much elements that are a bit rarer. Right, So 2x4 bricks, while they may sell pretty quickly, will not be as valuable as the 1x1 brick with the scroll. Because that is a very unique piece. So look out for unique pieces and colors because they will sell for more. That's why this, this coral piece right over here seems interesting. That's why this other 2x2 two two curved piece seems interesting because these are two fairly new colors that will definitely sell for quite a bit in the future. So that's one thing you want to look out for. In general, foliage, so leaves, plants, trees, any of those pieces will go for quite a hefty sum as well because mock builders are always in need of those at an affordable price. As well as plants, little water pieces such as the trans blue studs, or the one by two tiles will go for quite a bit. Once again, bricks are very, very important. One by bricks especially are great in large quantities. Um, chairs, if you find any minifigure utensils, definitely grab them. Let me just double check what else is useful. Yeah, and tiles also go for quite a bit. The two by two tiles are really awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. You guys let me know if you are a Brickling seller, what pieces have sold well for you. If you're looking to see more videos in this series, just uh, hold on. I'll be putting out a couple of these in the next few days. And yeah, hope this helped. Thanks and have a great day.